In this episode, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in the glamorous life of a professional performing strongman, as in myself. Last night, it snowed a lot. It hit the, the northeast pretty hard, harder than they were expecting, and I tried to use the snow blower in my driveway, not realizing that my garbage can lid was underneath the snow and it got stuck. So I'm going to try and pull it out, and if I have time, I'm going to do a feat of strength because it's Feats of Strength Friday today. I see that garbage can is nestled in there real tight. I was pulling on it pretty hard last night. Hashtag that's what she said. And I swear, these things are like stronger than the license plates that I rip. Really, these bolt cutters work. I use these to cut lengths of chain for when I'm doing my strongman shows. If it's strong enough to cut the chain, it should be strong enough to cut this garbage can lid. I don't think that that's actually gonna work. I think that the only way to really get that out of there is to take this thing apart which I am hesitant to do without the instruction manual. This actually belongs to my dad. So I'm gonna wait till he gets back and run it by him, get his permission before I start taking apart his things. Oh well, maybe I can just bend something instead. I like to do my Feats of Strength on Friday because Feats of Strength Friday has a nice ring to it. Originally I had planned on bending one of my steel sculptures to that I normally sell online or I some most of the time I actually give them as gifts but I need a bit of space to do that and since we're keeping all the cars in the garage for now I figure I'm just gonna bend some things and put it on my chain of nails these are timber ties they're a little bit easier than a 60 penny nail which I normally do in shows because it's the supposedly the rite of passage for a strong man but what I like to do is I like to double them up Instead of bending them one at a time, I bend them two at a time because it provides kind of like a flat surface, which sort of feels like a wrench. So it gives me practice bending wrenches while saving a bit of money because wrenches normally cost quite a bit more than these nails do. And I've got, well, I originally bought a 30 pound box of them, so I've got plenty to go. And it also helps me get closer to my goal of making my chain of nails about 50 feet long. Right now, it's probably about 18, 19 feet. I haven't measured it lately. <laughs> Hashtag, that's what she said. Two nails with one bed, two birds with one stone, since I get to put it on the chain of nails. Expensive. And it's a lot less expensive to bend two of those guys than even just one of these guys, which incidentally does not make a very good coat hanger, even though it looks kind of cool. And I'm still finding my way through this video log, creating my style. I know it's probably not the most entertaining thing yet, but I do hope that you like what it is that I'm talking about and showing you, and I hope that you subscribe. Um, anyways, that is it for today. Eric Moss, over and out, and what happens next is up to you. Thank you.